Hello, welcome back to Hey, What Are You Doing? So today on Hey, What Are You Doing? We're going to make a Puddles. How are you doing, buddy? Roar. Uh, Puddles, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Puddles. Roar. Now, I met Puddle a couple days ago when I was fixing my toilet. I must have twisted something wrong because this big guy came up. Roar. But don't worry, he's been washing his hands. Roar. Sorry, his fins. Roar. Roar. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, so today on Hey, What Are You Doing? We'll be making our treasure box. So to make a treasure box, you're going to need an egg carton, some paint, uh, some markers if you have them, you're going to need a little bit of flour, a little bit of salt, some water, a hot glue gun, again, if you have one. If not, white glue will be fine. And that's it. I know, it's very, very exciting. Now to go inside of the box, we'll be making some gold pieces. So we're going to make some gold dollars. We're going to make maybe some gold euro. And we're going to make maybe some golden girls. <laughs> yes, we all know you're a Blanche kind of guy. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. So to make our skull and crossbones, you'll take half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of salt, table salt is fine, and a quarter cup of water. And you pour it in your bowl and then magically you have a dough mix. So you want it to be able to be turned just into a nice ball. Once you mix it together, you want it to hold its own. You want a good secure ball of dough, you know? Like if you were on Tinder and you were swiping through for the perfect ball of dough, one of the qualities you'll be looking for is secure. Now don't be fooled, all the balls of dough will also say they're into hiking They'll probably have photographs of them skydiving or leaning against a truck. Now, once you've got your ball of dough, you don't need to knead it forever. We're not, uh, we're not making Nona's pasta. We're just making a ball of dough. So you got that. Take a little bit of flour. Sprinkle, sprinkle on your work surface. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little work surface. And you want to roll out the camera shakes while I'm doing this. <laughs> now, I actually don't have a rolling pin because I uh, don't. I do, however, have bottles of olive oil. You can find uh, old wine bottles. You can, you can just use a glass. You can do whatever is required for you to roll out that dough. From there on in, we're just gonna cut out our shapes. So the skull, all it is is just a simple petal shape. So you take a butter knife, this, I think this is for painting maybe, take anything you have really, and you just wanna cut out your shape. Cut out your shapes. There's skull shape. Again, you're just making a treasure box for fun. If there's any voice of perfectionism coming up in your head, well, that's imaginary. And you tell that little voice to go away. And you tell yourself, I'm being creative and I'm having fun. And that's what it's all about. So as you cut out your shapes, we'll just be loading them up onto the frying pan that, or the baking pan that you keep in your kitchen. And you'll go from there because we're not going to be eating any of this, it is okay for me to just leave it on the floor. Now for the back of the skull and crossbones, cross sticks, you're just shockingly cutting out a couple stick shapes, which uh, super simple. Again, not making known as pasta, but I kind of feel like it. And then with these, you just visually measure out how big you're gonna want them to be. I'm gonna want them to be about as long as a medium sized french fry. That's specific, right? Yeah. Great, and then you're gonna bake them separately. And 
da. And then the fun part. Well, the still fun part. Uh, you'll be making your gold coins. Now, if you don't want to make gold coins, don't. It's your treasure box. I'm not breaking into it. You can, if you'd like to, you can slice out diamond shapes. So you can have like fancy jewelry to hide inside your treasure box. Or you can get a lid. Look at that, the lid from a glue stick. No, no, just pop it, twist it, hope for the best. And look at that. You've got, there we go, little shapes. So then we're gonna put that in our oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And while it's baking, we will get the rest of our treasure box ready. See you in a minute. Ah, it feels so good to be out of the kitchen. It was so warm in there. So we are making the base of our treasure box. So if you've got a hot glue gun, now is the time to plug it in. Again, if you don't, white glue is going to be fine. Now get your, get your egg carton. Get that egg carton. Young man, you get that egg carton. Get your egg carton. If you're an adult, it's time to use some scissors. If you're a child and it's not safe for you to be using scissors, get your adult. So you want to cut along the inside of the egg carton. So you've got four little egg nuggety pocket spaces. Egg nuggety pocket spaces. That is what they are called in professional egg circles. How many egg nuggety spaces are you going to put into the new design? On the future, we'll have 50,000 egg nuggety spaces. So once you've done that, you want to cut your lid so that it goes one egg nuggety space longer than the base. One egg nuggety space longer than the base. So once you've cut your lid one space longer than the base, you get your scissors out and you're going to cut along the two seams of the egg carton lid. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. All right. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to fold these edges down to make another end. So you've got one here already. Thank you, amazing egg carton technicians. So you fold in, fold in these two sides here, and you're gonna fold up the top. See what we did there? Look at that, pure magic, magic. Get your hot glue gun, hot glue gun here, or your white glue, or your chewing gum, or your tree sap, or whatever it is you're gonna do. And you're just gonna glueity glue all that on there, all that good stuff down. Gloopity gloop, gloop, gloopin'. So there's your box. Look at you, you're working so fast. So it's time to paint your box or decorate your box. You can do whatever you would like. So again, if you have paint, great. If you don't, we'll get creative. You can get some regular paper, color it with some crayons, and then just chop and paste those little bits all over your box. You can do whatever you like, really. It's your box, have fun with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this paint and I'm gonna go blurpity blurp blurp blurp. Just like that. And I'm gonna slap that paint right on. You just paint it. There we go. Now some people might think, oh, it's better to be delicate. You gotta be delicate when you're making these types of things. And I think to myself, I'm making a treasure box. How many pirates were delicate? You know? There's no one who was like, oh, excuse me, good sir pirate, would you please walketh of the plank? No. They were like, yar and throwing around things. There's chucking dolphins across the boat at each other and throwing octopuses on each other while they're asleep. What a horrible way to wake up. Someone throwing an octopus at you. So while the treasure box is drying and our skull and crossbones are baking, we can get a piece of paper, some crayons, some markers, whatever you like for drawing, and you can start making your treasure map. So all you really need is some imagination. You might think, treasure map? I've got nowhere to bury a treasure. Hello, you have your entire place that you live. So if you make a treasure map, the door doesn't just have to be a door. 
It can be a gateway to a whole other kingdom. Your couch, it's not just a couch. It's a bunch of mountains covered in scary trees. There can maybe there's a TV. It's not a TV. That's a robot. Or there's a chair. That's not a chair. That's a unicorn. I love my chair unicorn. So just fill five minutes with using your imagination while you wait for your box to dry and for your skull and crossbones to finish baking. The pieces for your skull and crossbones are ready when they're no longer squishy. So either be an adult or get an adult and check to see if they are done. If they're good and hard, then they're done and ready. So you just leave them out to cool for a few minutes and then you're ready for painting or for coloring. So I'm going to use a crayon for this one. And look at that. You rub it and it colors. So once you've painted your skull and your crossbones, it's just a simple matter of gluing the bones and the skull onto your box. And then you're ready to have fun. So you can put your gold coins in there, you can put in your diamonds and your jewels, you can put in your spiders, your snakes, whatever you like. You hide that away, you get out the treasure map that you made, and you have fun with it. Now in the next video, we are going to be making garden decorations, either for yourself or to just leave on your neighbor's place to brighten up their day a little bit. Look forward to seeing you again on, hey, what are you doing? Blarb. Blarb. <laughs>